everybody, it's Dr. Megan from Onegora. And Dr. Mark. And today what we wanted to talk about is a treatment that we've used now for a couple years um, called microcurrent neurofeedback. Uh, and we use it a lot to help calm the nervous system. And so Dr. Mark here is the one that uses IASIS or microcurrent neurofeedback. Mm -hmm. And so I think a good place to start is just to explain how this technology works. Yeah, so basically um, you're using microcurrent, so it's in, it's in fecal amps, it's super, super tiny, right? So um, it's basically trying to get the brain out of fight or flight and into rest and digest. So it's giving you a little tiny little signal and says, hey, follow me, that kind of thing. So. And one of the things that we found to be really successful is people know about neurofeedback. And so neurofeedback's been around forever. Um, we used to do it a fair amount with patients mm -hmm. here where we would put them on these programs of 40, 50 times where they would come in. We would check their brain waves, get specific patterns for them, and then put them on these programs to help to rebalance and reset their brain. Yeah. Since using the microcurrent neural feedback, we found that really at the end of the day, this has been a great way to get people's brains reset in a much more easier and effective way because ultimately what it's saying is that if your brain's in this fight or flight and you're firing in these high beta waves and so you're firing up here and your brain is just sort of going, 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 which people know and they feel it. So this can be after a stress of physical stress, um, chemical stress, like after chronic Lyme, chronic um, mold or other you know, chronic problems in the body. It can also be after a major emotional stress like a trauma. Yep. Even if that trauma was 30, 40 years ago, we carry it. Everything gets sort of stored and stuck in the body. So what we can do then is if these, the brain waves are high, it doesn't really matter where the brain waves are. So traditional neurofeedback, we'd look where those were and then try to reset that part of the brain. This says, hey, if those brain waves are firing high, we can give these small calming signals to get your brain to start to then come down and fire in a more calm, relaxed, and parasympathetic way. Yep, and it's way uh, way easier on the patient. So the way it used to be is, it's like you'd play games with your mind, right? So you'd, you'd watch the, the, the TV, and if you couldn't keep yourself in the right brainwave, then the TV would go dim. And that can be super frustrating for someone that's having a hard time getting into those specific brain patterns. So with the neurofeedback, the microcurrent neurofeedback, it kind of does the work for you, right? So um, we still want you to try to be relaxed and all that kind of stuff, but um, yeah, it's, it's a lot easier on the patient. It's way less frustrating and it takes like um, the, probably about a quarter as many treatments, mm -hmm. so. Yeah, we start to see changes. We, a lot of times even we'll see them after the first one or two. Yeah. Um, but we really start to see changes that stick uh, in a pretty fast manner uh, yeah. compared to that traditional neurofeedback that did take time um, and took a lot of time. And in that, that traditional way too, we would go through periods where people would just feel way worse because of the fact that they were going after and trying to condition this part of the brain that had been you know, either shut down or, or turned on too much for a long period of time. The other thing that um, I've seen to be really successful is, you know, everyone talks now about parasympathetic vagus nerve mm -hmm. having to rebalance the nervous system. And I think this is a part that a lot of people miss is after you've gone through a physical, chemical, or emotional trauma, you need to be able to go after that concern. So whether that's chronic Lyme, chronic mold, or trauma in your, bo in your body, but at the end of the day, you have to rehab your nervous system. You have to get out of those patterns that got stuck because you were in there. And that's where IASIS really shines. Yep. And so by working then and being able to see, and um, what we'll do is we're actually gonna show you what the screen looks like, but we're gonna be able to then show you how we can take those brain waves and be able to make a difference um, right off the bat with microcurrent neurofeedback. Yep, and it's, it's really cool because it's live. So you can, you can see the frequencies, you can see the EEG, uh, it's left and right brain. So we can, from the start to the finish, you can kind of see your brain relaxing and that's that's really cool because then um yeah it just solidifies everything and what i get feedback from with patients that see you all the time is they didn't realize how much of fight or flight they're in yep and so and then you also do a great job of giving the exercises to do to stay out of these patterns but yeah a lot of times people don't realize that they really are firing from this fight or flight so they might have been treating Lyme for you know four or five years um even longer sometimes and they feel like they're just this person that gets better and then keeps coming back but it all comes back to the fact that the nervous system was never fully addressed. We also, um, we've been doing this for a couple of years and I knew we had to get it during COVID because the one thing about COVID is it's put people into these more stress patterns and truthfully the environment, other people aren't helping people get out of it and feel relaxed. Yeah. And so it's another tool and a wonderful tool to really get people out of these stress patterns. So let's go take a look and see what the uh, treatment actually looks like. Okay, so we got somebody hooked up. 
Um, these are your, your EEGs at the top. So left brain, right brain, you want those lines to be nice and thin. So if I if I put my impedance in there when I touch one of the leads, it gets um, really, really thick, right? So we don't want to see that. And then the, the bottom is the frequencies. So we want to see it nice and thick on the left sides and nice and calm on the rights. So, all right, so basically, it's, it's taking information from the brain, going in through here. When it sees that it's high, it goes through the iasis and then back into the brain to try to calm it down. So um, this patient's brain is pretty calm already, but what we can see is when these are high, it kind of shifts it down as we go through the treatment.